Imagine this. It is 2015 and you are scrolling through your social media on a lazy afternoon. Suddenly, you see a bold headline. Breaking news, it say. A well-known pastry store discovered repackaging and selling another brand's soy milk as their own. You read through the article and start to feel very angry about it. This company is a terrible liar. Their soy milk is not freshly made and they have been deceiving customers. They should be boycotted. Crisis are no doubt a negative event and can become a nightmare if not handled well. But theoretically, how do we perceive crisis situations as audiences? How do we make attributions about crises? And how does this affect the way we react to it? Let's delve into these questions today with the Situational Crisis Communication Theory or SCCT for short. The core of SCCT is about the attribution of crisis responsibility. According to Cambridge Dictionary, attribution is the act of saying what the origin or cause of something is. Attributions of crisis responsibility are very important. This is because they have a significant effect on how people perceive the reputation of an organization in a crisis. They also affect how people feel and act towards the company during the crisis. A crisis is no doubt a threat to an organization's reputation. We all know that an organization's reputation is very important. If they have bad reputation, people would not want to support them anymore. SCCT is an audience-centered or audience-oriented theory. It wants to highlight how people perceive crises and their reactions to crisis response strategies and organization in the crisis. As such, SCCT proposes a two-step process for audience to assess the crisis threat. The first step is to determine which crisis category the incident falls into. First, is it a victim crisis type where the company has low crisis responsibility or threat? Or second, is it an accident where there is minimal organizational crisis responsibility or threat? Or third, is it an intentional crisis type where there is a strong organizational crisis responsibility or threat? By determining which crisis type it is, it helps the audience establish the base threat of the crisis. That's not the end of the process. In the second step, there is a need to determine if there are any intensifying factors. Only one of these intensifiers need to be present to increase the crisis threat. And these factors are first, crisis history, and second, prior reputation. Yes, you heard that right. It's not just about the present, it's about the past too. Crisis history refers to whether or not the organization had similar crises in the past. If they had many similar crises before, it seems like the organization has a pattern of bad behavior. As audiences, of course, we will attribute greater crisis responsibility to them. After all, why haven't they learned from their past mistakes? Why are they letting it happen again? The prior reputation of the company matters as well. Organizations with negative prior reputations are attributed greater crisis responsibility for the same crisis compared to an organization with an unknown or positive prior reputation. SCCT is also not limited to effects of an organization's reputation. It also examines the feelings and behavior of audiences. For instance, did you know that the greater the attribution of crisis responsibility, the angrier people feel about the organization? Behavior-wise, audiences may have negative word of mouth and display lower purchase intention. How can crisis managers make use of the SCCT then? Crisis managers can use SCCT to estimate the threat level 
and then determine the appropriate crisis response. There are three main crisis response strategies. Firstly, should they deny, meaning they prove that the organization had no responsibility for the crisis. Or second, should they adopt a diminished strategy where they minimize the organization's crisis responsibility or reduce the perceived seriousness of the crisis? Or third, should they rebuild and seek to improve perceptions of the organization through compensation or apologies? Aside from these main strategies, they can also supplement with a reinforcing strategy. This is where they try to add positive information about the organization by praising others or reminding people of their past good works. Of course, this is only supplementary, meaning it cannot be used alone. Plus, they need to have actual past good works for this strategy to work. Now, the SCCT is still developing as a theory. There are still many factors that we have not considered but can shape the crisis threat. Still, we cannot deny that the SCCT does provide us with a great framework for examining crisis communication.